Hey guys, this video is going to cover some textured resource packs that were released over the past two months, and these are all compatible with the latest version of Minecraft. A lot of the packs I'm about to mention are small and only add a few changes, so I'll spend a short amount of time covering each one so the video isn't dragged out. You can find the link to download any of these in the description below. But first, a word from today's sponsor, War Thunder. It's a free-to-play multiplayer game available on PC, Xbox, PlayStation, and Mac. And it's all about confrontations between military vehicles, whether they're on the ground, on the oceans, or in the air. Recently, War Thunder received a new update called the Drone Age, with both reconnaissance and strike drones now available to be used in battle. And this update also contained a new aircraft, the Su-25 from the Soviet era, also known as the Frogfoot. But dozens of additional models were added for vehicles, and you can choose to control machinery from 10 nations including the USA, Britain, France, Germany, China, and Japan. War Thunder's visual effects also received a huge update. As you destroy enemy vehicles, you can watch as they explode into lots of pieces, leaving only cratered remains behind. And as you take to the air, shooting at enemy fuel tanks can make them blow up, giving you the air superiority you need to win. All the vehicles in-game can be upgraded, which will make them stronger and more powerful in battle. And you can just customize them, with there being some different camouflages and decals which can be applied. So go ahead and try out War Thunder for free using the link in the description. All new players will receive tons of bonuses, including half a million silver lions, a week of renting legendary German ground vehicles, three premium vehicles to keep forever, XP boosters, and a lot more. But be fast, as the free German vehicles event will be ending soon. Thanks to War Thunder for sponsoring me today, and ads are off for the remainder of the video. Better farm animals will update cows, sheep, chicken, and pigs. They do deviate from their vanilla counterparts a little bit, but still blend in nicely with Minecraft style. Animals can have three different variants, with them having different textures, and the most noticeable changes are how they have additional 3D effects in places like their ears, horns, and tails. Wardenite Armor is a new set of armor which will make you look a lot like the newly added Warden. There's two versions of this pack, one which can replace Netherite and another which allows you to rename items instead, keeping vanilla Netherite intact. You can pair Wardenite Armor with this next pack, which makes the Elytra have a Warden theme as well. So you might want to pair both of these packs together, although this one replaces the vanilla textures with there being no renaming option. A developer named Mayflower has created this custom item texture pack. On the Planet Minecraft page is a link to the pack's catalog, showing how you obtain every item. You're able to create tables, chairs, cabinets, ovens, sinks, and toilets, among a few other items for furniture. But there's also a lot of decoration-type items, like notebooks, carpets, curtains, and towel racks, which are great for designing your houses with. This texture pack will add three hats into Minecraft, which can all be obtained by renaming a carved pumpkin. These are the frog hat, strawberry hat, and mushroom hat, and they all look really nice in-game. Bountiful gives an effect similar to the overweight farming mod. When a beetroot, carrot, or potato is in its final growth stage, it will be much larger and look more like an actual block instead. And minor changes are also made to the wet farmland blocks. Chest boats receive a massive change if you install air boats. They look more mechanical and even have an animated propeller that spins when you move. There's only one texture for each wood type as the others are locked behind Patreon. Better Horse's pouch will replace the chest texture that usually appears on steeds like donkeys, mules, and llamas. Instead of a chest, it will now look like a leather pouch instead, which is a nice quality of life change. Here's another pack which changes up the Elytra. It's instead inspired by Homelander, a character from the TV show The Boys, and it's designed to look like his signature American flag cape. This texture pack will change warped roots in the nether, giving them a 3D blocky form instead of the 2D paper look we're used to. On the pack's page, you can find additional files to make the nether fungus 3D too. Plasticky is an 8 pixel resolution pack, so it has a very minimalist style. Right now, most of the blocks, items, and interface elements are complete, and the developer is working on textures for entities right now, which includes mobs. 
although the pack hasn't been updated since early September. But if you still like the look of it, go ahead and try it out. Pomeranians contain some textures that we've seen before from the Better Dogs Texture Pack. From now on, wolves will look completely different, with there being five different texture variations. If you tame them, then they'll turn into cute little Pomeranians instead. But if you haven't checked out Better Dogs, make sure to do so, as it contains lots of other breeds. Bold Improvements is a multiple texture pack in one. There's Messy Walls, which gives walls more variation, especially when it comes to their size. Flavorful Brewing will make the potions that appear in a brewing stand more random instead. Creating a single bonfire changes the model of a campfire, and changes the smoke pattern too. Inventory Quartz changes how quartz appears in your inventory, making it easier to distinguish. The place down blocks are unchanged, and there's a few other minor changes. Zombie Girls is going to transform zombies, giving them a female model instead of the usual male ones. The standard male zombies won't spawn anymore with the pack installed. They'll all be replaced. Angels and Devils bring some small changes to the Allay and the Vex. Allays might spawn with an angel halo or as a magician, whereas the Vex looks like the devil instead. Some more variants were added in a recent update too, but it doesn't seem available for download when I was putting this together. With the Swamp update, there's lots of changes, with the first being some new variants of witches, which there are three of. You might find them inside a cauldron or flying on a broom, whereas in the mangrove, you have a chance of finding the new blue frog. Lily pads have changed quite a lot, turning them into ooze and reeds in some places, and sometimes you can find fireflies circling just above the water. There are some other texture changes which can be found, and another notable feature is that you can rename a dolphin turning it into a crocodile instead. Installing this texture pack will add health bars into Minecraft, which will appear above every mob. That way you can see how much more health they need to lose before they'll die, so it's actually quite useful, and they glow in the dark too. Aesthetic Birds is going to replace the textures of parrots, with some slight model and texture changes. You'll find that they'll turn into cockatoos, blue jays, cyan macaws, red jays, and pink cockatoos. No renaming is required as the textures of existing parrots will be replaced. Crab's Animal Expansion will add almost 200 different animals into Minecraft, which are all obtained through texture variants. Animals like chickens, dolphins, sheep, wolves, squids, and turtles can now spawn as lots of different creatures. You can find whales, dragonflies, raccoons, gorillas, deer, owls, lions, and so much more. And while you can get these animals by renaming, you'll also find them spawning naturally thanks to Optifine. You can find every animal that's included on the pack's page, as well as all the renaming options. Floating blocks should keep you safe when exploring. From now on, both sand and gravel will have a different texture if they're floating. So if you break them, you know that you're going to fall. There's some variation too, with the blocks not looking so repetitive, and when connected to other blocks, they'll blend together. Lil Pie's Craft is designed to make Minecraft look a lot cuter, and I'd say it does that by introducing a softer palette when it comes to the level of detail and colors. Lots of blocks, items, and mobs have been changed, and even most interfaces, although quite a lot of blocks still retain their vanilla textures too. So again, if this is something you like the look of, go ahead and give it a try. MB3D aims to take most of Minecraft's items and make them 3D. You'll notice this effect when they're either in your hand or displayed in the game world, but you're probably going to want to install an invisible item frame pack alongside it, and it's actually quite good for decorating. Villagers will look a lot better with recreated villagers, especially if they have professions. They'll be carrying items related to their profession, which are fully 3D. I think small changes like this really bring a modern feeling to Minecraft, and adds more detail and immersion without breaking the vanilla feeling. Better Cats will transform all cats. The pack's description claims that there are around 130 variations, and that's true if you consider that they now come in different colors, have different eye shapes, different snouts, hair length, and more. A lot of them look like real breeds too, and the model of the cats are changed so they can have more prominent features like pointy ears. Brickcraft is locked behind a Patreon, 
but there's still a demo you can try out which includes 200 blocks at a lower resolution. I've covered a few packs like this in the past, where the core theme is to make Minecraft look a lot like LEGO, although this one calls them Danish bricks. If you do like the look of this pack, you're not limited to it. You can search Planet Minecraft and try out all the similar LEGO themed packs that exist. Silverfish are probably one of the most annoying mobs in Minecraft. Installing this pack will turn them into snakes instead, which there are nine different variations of. Some of them look really cool too, with there being a skeletal snake or Sir Hiss who wears a top hat. If you're playing in a medieval style world, then you might like this pack. It transforms the Iron Golem into a huge knight instead. They're equipped with a cool looking helmet and even wear a cape. The developer mentioned possibly equipping them with weapons too. To get with the season, try out the Autumn Pack. There's lots of changes, like the leaves being some different colors. Grass should look drier too, and leaves can be seen resting on them with some variations. Oak and spruce saplings are replaced with acorns and pine cones, and a few other changes are brought to pumpkin pies, golden apples, cookies, and moss. Some Halloween additions are also implemented with this pack, like how carved pumpkins can have 11 different faces. Bowls are turned into treat baskets, and beetroot items become candy corn, candy seeds, and candy baskets. Another Halloween change comes with better Halloween beds. Each color of bed will now have a different texture, like a bloody hand, witch, vampire, chocolate bar, clown, spiderweb, and a few more. Foliage Plus Tweaks brings lots of nice changes that make the world feel more alive. Pebbles, sticks, and smaller grass can be found all across the landscape, and leaves will look more bushy, with visible sticks inside. Branches will now stick out from some trees, as well as mushrooms to help break up the plain blockiness. And on sand blocks, you can find skulls buried in them. For more nature improvements, try out vanilla butterflies. Flowers in your world will have a 10% chance of having butterflies spawn on them, which will be animated. They'll flutter and their colors will match the flowers that they're on, so you could even make your own butterfly house. Currently included with wings are just over 20 sets of wings, which have lots of themes. They can make you look like a bat, a leg, dragon, skulk, devil, and so much more. There's two ways of using them. You can either rename and equip a carved pumpkin or rename stained glass and then just hold it. Lots of them are animated too. Another replacement for zombies is wraiths, which are ghoul-like creatures, and it also fits nicely as a Halloween pack. They come with all new animations and sounds, and instead of dropping rotten flesh and zombie heads, they'll drop wraith souls and wraith heads instead, and the spawn egg is also renamed. Fans of Breaking Bad will love this pack. Creepers in your world are now going to look like Hector Salamanca. As he gets close, he'll ring his bell before exploding. It's a really funny pack and nicely animated too, as the wheels actually spin around on his chair. More weapons add some new weapons which are made from all the regular materials, as well as amethyst, copper, emerald, ruby, and sapphire. Both swords and axes can be renamed, turning them into battle staffs, katanas, spears, cleavers, halberds, hammers, maces, and more. A lot of them are 3D too, with the hammer being my favorite. You can find a complete list of items and their names inside the README file within the pack. That's the end of this video. If you want to find more texture packs, check out my playlist on the screen above. And I've also covered tons of data packs and mods on my channel too.